Hey okay guys, a quick video on how to wire up your DJI FPV air unit. Yeah, this is the wiring harness that comes with the air unit. Obviously, this one just plugs into the air unit. And if you're doing your own build, you're going to have to solder up these wires here. And let me just show you real quick what these are. The top wire, the red one, is going to be for your power into the air unit. The voltage range is uh, 7.4 volts to 17.6 volts, so basically up to 4S. And if you put in more than a force voltage, you will melt the air unit. So don't do that. And I'll explain how you can uh, properly get power to the air unit here in a second. The black is going to be ground for the power. I'll also show you where to hook all this up. The white there is going to be for UART RX, I believe. And the gray wire right below that is going to be for UART TX. Those two are going to be used uh, to get information from the data flight OSD to go into the OSD of the goggles. The brown wire, the second to bottom, is a uh, signal ground, and then the yellow wire is SBUS, and that is going to be your signal for uh, using the DJI controller. If you're not using the DJI controller, then the last two wires you don't need to wire up anywhere. Okay, so this is just a generic F4 flight controller. It has really big pads, so it's going to show up behind the camera. That's kind of why I chose this. Plus, it's got a uh, 8 volt BC. I'll explain that here in a second. But let me just explain where all the wires go first. There's the S bus pad here. I've already pre soldered some of these. The yellow wire is going to go to this pad here. That's S bus. The ground here, signal ground, is the brown wire. And then here we have uh, TX3 and RX3. So the TX is going to go to the RX of the air unit. That's going to be the gray wire, I believe. And then the RX is going to go to TX. So it's the opposite of what you think. I'll also, once I wire it up, you'll see it here in a second. And then over here is how we're going to power the air unit off of this particular flight controller board because it has a proper BEC. This has an 8 volt output here. It's not, you, know, you can't really see it in the silk screen, but it's 8 volts, 3 amps. So it's 8 times 3 is 24 watts of. Of power from the 8 volt regulator, and this is the ground here. So that'd be the red wire and then the black wire. And I'll wire all this up here and show you in a second. But the reason you want the 8 volt regulator here is if you're going to uh, use anything higher than 4S voltage. So if you're using a 6S setup, if you put 6S voltage into the air unit, it will just burn it up. So you want to wire power it up from this regulator here. Now, if you get power, from a regulator on your flight controller board and it's not rated for the amount of watts that the air unit's going to need and it says in the specifications four to nine watts but you probably want to be you know have a little bit of extra clearance just in case it draws more power because if it over taxes your voltage regulator and it melts then it's going to just probably pass through the 6s voltage and then melt your air unit so you're going to want to check your specifications on the equipment you're using and be very sure that it's going to be providing the correct the correct wattage. So, in this case, it's eight volts, three amps. So that's 24 watts. That's going to be enough for this air unit. Uh, there's going to be some other boards out there, like say, like a nine volt two amp regulator. That's a pretty common one, and that's going to be what nine times two. That's 18 watts. That should be fine too. I think people say that this will probably draw as much as 16 watts. So you probably want at least that much to cover it. Now, if you don't have a voltage regulator on here at all that's going to provide that or isn't enough then and, and you're only going to run this on force then you can run force voltage into this that'd be fine uh, then you can just uh, run it off of these uh, these pads here this is vbat if you're using force obviously if you're using 6s don't do that because you'll fry the area so hopefully that explains how to power it up and i'll go ahead and wire this up now okay so here it is actually wired up you have your ground over here for power you got your 8 volts here for power your s bus your yellow cable here you got your brown signal ground here and then here's the two wires for the uh, OSD and so you have TX3 that's going to the RX here the white wire and then you have the RX3 going to the TX the gray wire here for the air unit and basically for this you have to enable SBUS on your uh, flight controller so the serial receiver and then enable SBUS and then for the enabling of the of the um, OSD you can actually enable MSP under the ports tab on Betaflight on that on the UART that you're using. So this is UART3, so we'll enable MSP on that. And then of course you want to reboot and then everything should be enabled at that point and it should function. You should be able to see voltage 
on our battery voltage on the OSD in your goggles. So that's pretty much it. This is how you set it up and wire it up. Shouldn't be that difficult. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and that'll do it for this video. Talk to you later.